Hey there, Quentin's film class, Colin Mockery from Whose Line Is It Anyway here, international comedy icon, and soon to be on the Canadian $5 bill. Thank you. Please sit down. Let's all take a deep breath, trying to get our pulse rate back to normal. Um, now, I, I know that you are uh, in a film comedy class that uh, Quentin is teaching. Um, I myself, ever since I was young, have always um, I loved movies of all kinds, but certainly comedy, which, of course, I think influenced my um, later choices in life. And it's so hard to come up with a classic comedy because, as you know, comedy is such a personal thing. Uh, what I might find funny is something you have no regard for at ever. Just to make an audience of people laugh at the same thing is an incredible achievement. And there are some movies out there. I'll tell you a couple of my favorite movies. Here's the thing. All the ideas really had been done. I mean, there's no groundbreaking comedies, really. It's just different variations and a different point of view of something. One of my um, early favorites is a movie called His Girl Friday. It has the most dialogue in a 90-minute movie that you'll ever see. It's fast-paced, it's fun, every character is well written, uh, every character has a moment, and it's all relatable. And I think that's what makes the best comedy, where there's something in there that you can relate. Even I mean, there's movies like Some Like It Hot where the plot is a little outrageous where two men uh, dress up as women to hide from gangsters. Yeah, you have to kind of hide your disbelief. But everybody plays it so straight, so to speak. And that is the secret of comedy. Everything has to be fully committed and you play as though you are playing a tragedy. That's where a lot of humor comes on. Even something as goofy as Airplane or the uh, Naked Gun series, sometimes you just want to watch something that's silly, is stupid, and for some reason touches your funny bone. There's so many great comedies out there. I would suggest if you're looking for comedies, try to find something um, from last century and then compare it to something like a classic from this century. I'm trying to think. I haven't... I, I haven't been able to see a lot of movies lately. I just saw one called Vengeance. It's uh, it's a dark comedy, uh, which I also like. It's very subtle, but there's some very funny things in it. I highly recommend that. All I'm saying is, if you're going out there and you're going to make a comedy movie, just remember you always need old bald guys. Check out every classic comedy. There's always an old white bald guy. The secret of comedy. I wish everyone uh, good luck. I, um, even if you don't go into this as a profession, enjoy comedy. It's laugh, it's good for your health, it's good for your mental health. And in this world today, we need as many laughs as possible. Everyone take care, stay safe.